there is a problem given like this draw a ray diagram to locate the position of image when a point source that is yes is placed on optical axis mn of a convex lens in such a way that it is beyond focal point f2 that figure also given look at that figure here i am showing you how it is given so optical axis mn and uh, its uh, focal points uh, f1 and uh, f2 are like this then here what is placed uh, point source is placed at uh, s yes. right and uh, a ray is given to me uh, lens i this i think this is your diagram given in the figure e what is asked here ray diagram you have to complete do you know the behavior of uh, this light ray especially given here in your situation do you meet this uh, situ uh, type of ray not given what they are given actually passing through the principal axis along the principal axis and passing through the optic center of lens parallel to the principal axis and uh, passing through the focus these only given yes sir no look at that situations 1 2 4 1 2 3 4 4 for double concave lens and double convex lens both are given so we are unable to complete this one in this what we have to do just you have to imagine principal axis here sir already principal axis is given it is mn but here that uh, a line passing through the optic center of the lens and that is parallel to the that given light ray right so that is called here simply imaginary principal axis for you so here see that a ray it is going to meet at p dash that ray meets given a double convex lens at p dash now look at here what i am doing see a ray is drawn what is the situation here it is passing through the optic center of the lens is there any change in the behavior of light ray after refraction no it remains along the principal axis is it clear the ray which is started from the point source from o this is object for you actually from the object i got one of the ray which is passing through the optic center or along the principal axis so it remains undeviate so that a uh, ray already it is passing along the principal axis then what about the second ray which is given as op dash here op dash ray do you know the behavior of this light ray this one already completed it remains undeviate after the refraction completed but uh, to find out the position of image we required at least two rays one of the ray completed along the principal axis second ray is required what is the behavior of that light ray do you know we don't know so for this what i am doing here see a ray is drawn how this uh, red color line to the op ray how it is looking like parallel parallel right. so just put your scale along that op dash ray right then draw a line that which is passing through the optic center of lens okay so you are placing your scale as you see here see it is unable to draw exactly like this just imagine your scale then drawing a line here that which passes through the optic center okay no? so that you have to follow here what i did using the scale i drawn parallel line to the given light ray op dash i think i am clear then now look at only that imaginary principal axis and the op dash ray how they are each other parallel parallel okay now the situation is it going to meet this one what is given here that situation is what what happens to the uh, light ray after refraction if it is instant on a double convex lens parallel to the principal axis maybe it is situation number 
थ्री और फोर आई डोंट नो एक्सैक्टली लुक एट योर टेक्स्ट बुक इट मीट्स द फोकस आफ्टर रिफ्रैक्शन आई मैं क्लियर द रे मीट्स द focus but where is the focus here on the red color line do you have focus no how to find out the focus just drawing a perpendicular line through f1 look at here i drawn a perpendicular through f1 then that blue color that dotted line and the red color imaginary principal axis converging at a point or not they coincides each other so that point now acting like a imaginary focus for you so that is given as f not is it clear so find out imaginary focal point in this situation so what this actually blue color, blue dotted line called as this is called as focal plane right so see that refractive light ray behavior is completed it is passing through the imaginary focus extend it that can meet the original principal axis right so that point is what image point that is given as i here so where the image is obtained beyond f1 on the principal axis at a point i so pi is the image distance here op or po is object distance okay so this is the ray diagram for the given example 4 see what i did one by one so first i drawn a parallel line to the given ray op dash through the optic center of the lens after that just i am selecting a perpendicular line through f1 then where they coincides blue color dotted line and that uh, red color principal axis imaginary so that will give you a point called imaginary focus for that situation so after the refraction that a uh, op ray meets the focal point f not then it extended to meet the original principal axis mn then that for where it is going to meet that is the image point here that uh, is forming the image 